So just to give you a quick run through of the automatic shifting from BioShift, in this case we're starting off in manual mode just like normal. I'll go ahead and I'll hold down the active shifter, so whichever one, whichever ring I'm in, in this case I'm in the big ring, so I'm going to hold down the shifter that'll um, activate that normally. You'll see the system will go, um, where the numbers there go away from a black background to a, just a kind of a clear background, um, and then it immediately shifts me into the most efficient gear uh, for that circumstance. Um, at this point you'll see the blinking green, that just simply means that um, it's active and the system is ready for, for my next shift. Now I'll go ahead and add power, um, and you see that that red light on the right hand side blinked briefly, um, that's about a third of a second warning before it actually completes the shift. I'll continue to add power here, um, and then you'll notice on again on the right hand side it'll shift once more, um, you'll see a re the red light blink just like that, um, and now it's shifted once again uh, to a new gear. And that does it again, um, and it just keeps on shifting, in this case I'm adding more and more power as I go through. Um, here to go ahead and try to force the system to shift purposefully. Next I'll go show you as I crest a small hill, so you can see the hill up there in the distance. Um, and I'll go ahead and I'll swing back around again, so the system is blinking green. Um, and what's going to happen as I crest the hill is it'll start to go ahead and give me a harder gearing in order to maintain that efficiency. Because you see my cadence picks up there. Um, so just like as you press the hill, you would uh, make the gears harder. That allows you to go ahead and uh, add more power there without spinning too high in the cadence. Um, now watch as I um, start to coast coming around this corner here that the system will basically hold for future shifts. It won't um, add any additional shifts at this point because it knows based on the amp plus cadence that I'm already, um, I've stopped pedaling.